Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the original Rise of Nations uh, on Windows 10 and 11. So for this, you will need to own the game and have your product key that came in the box. And to get started, these files are in the video description, separate links, you need to download them both. And first step, you want to open the ISO file and this will mount a virtual disk. Then just open run setup, install it, then type in your product key. After it finishes, you'll just want to restart your computer, so let me restart real Okay, so after you restarted your computer, you can go to the directory where you install your game. And here is everything, so we'll start off by opening our file, opening the folder, this one, and then executing run patch 13. This will update the game to 1.0.3, as you can see there. So just let it load. And after that it should just close automatically. And you do not need to restart for this. Then the second step, you need to open your directory. If you do not know where your directory is, you can just go to your desktop and where you see the Rise of Nations uh, shortcut, right click it, then click open file location. After that, the folder should appear and rise.exe will be selected just open back up this group and copy and paste nations.exe and fdx-rn13.info into your directory replace the files then enable compatibility mode so right click the nations.exe then go to properties and enable run this programming compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. If this does not work, try another service pack or another version. Then just click apply and OK. And do the same for this one, rise.exe. Properties, compatibility, run this programming compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. Then after that, you can go ahead and run it, but you might get this error. Uh, so basically to fix this error uh, first you'll want to task manager the application because clicking ok doesn't close it so you search for rise of nations and task and this one and task and you can close it then so what you'll want to do is find this file called dbg help and just rename it so show more options rename dbg help underscore old just rename it to that and now if you try to launch rise.exe and now we have a fully functioning uh, rise of nation installation and if you have a problem where your mouse is not moving and it's just stuck in the middle then you can go ahead to your settings system display then here in scale make sure it is set to 100 percent if you have anything other than 100 percent the mouse will not move in the app so i hope you found this video helpful for installing rise of nations if you did please make give a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you guys next